Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Jordan. CBS Detroit News Time is 25 past the hour. All right, John. A lot of people out there tonight. 100,000 in the South Bay, 300,000 in Balboa Park celebrating the holiday season. December night's another free event. Always yeah. a great, great time out there. Great time of year. All right, John, thanks so much. Closing arguments are scheduled this morning in the trial of the man accused of opening fire and wounding two children at a Carlsbad Elementary School back in 2010. It's surging in every single poll that's been out today. It's tax time. Do you know that? And there's yeah. some pretty good news for anybody dragging their feet when it comes to filing to pay those taxes. You might want to keep your gas tank topped off. Gas prices have been pretty steady here all week as well, but analysts say... Yeah, they're going to rise again. Thousands of people are pleasing their palates at the San Diego Bay Wine and Food Festival. The ninth annual event will wrap up its last day today after a week along the Embarcadero. Right now in Southfield, several people injured after a three-car crash. Now this is at Berg Road and Civic Center Drive. NTSB will investigate, but hard to believe when you look at the flames there and the smoke and the fact that this was a plane that crashed that they were able to walk away from this. Look at that. These three whistleblowers here, they had to actually go outside the chain of command to get anyone to pay attention to this. Were their immediate supervisors not taking this seriously when they initially came to them? It looks better than it feels, I think, outside. Dave Scott, uh, when can we turn the heat off? It's been uh, pretty <laughs> darn cold. If you look at some of these companies that had stronger than expected earnings, uh, companies like Nike, uh, doing quite well unexpectedly, but then you see the housing market really tanking. Then what's happening overseas in China? Talk about letting uh, city workers take their pensions and put them on 401k plans other than the uh, police department is something unthinkable. Why is it unthinkable to propose a 401k plan to a union member, but not unthinkable to propose a 401k plan to the average working family who is not a union member? That's but, the question. But that is not what I said. I, I, that's the question I'm asking Okay, you. well, as long as you're saying you said it was unthinkable, I didn't say it was unthinkable. You said it was I unthinkable. Said, I said, I said that, that it is. The difference between an innocent civilian and a probable threat is key. A pretty steep price to pay, some people say, when you consider the $1.50 fare per person won't be enough to make up that cost. Some people say that money could be better spent on other public transportation projects. It's something most people don't think about when they think of the country of Israel, that there are actually surfers there surfing on the Mediterranean Sea. But it turns out there's a lot of surfers in Israel, about 25,000 people, and it's opening up a new dialogue between Christians, Muslims, and the Jews. This is the gentleman who is responsible for keeping this tree in place. Are you prepared in case uh, something <laughs> needs to happen? Nature takes its course. Real, who says giving local hospitals control over their own patients, providing insurance directly to the ones they care for, could dramatically reduce the costs for you and me, but also provide some pretty good returns for said hospitals. Say you want to find out more about the history of Detroit or you want to find out who was Detroit's first millionaire. E.B. Ward, by the way, it's all in this book on Detroit-specific history. Good morning, San Diego. I'm Tom Jordan. And I'm Alexis Del Chiara. Welcome to your Black Friday. It is November 23rd. Uh, the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is holding this morning, but the angry words are still flying back and forth. We've got the very latest. Two people are dead and dozens are injured after a fog bank caused a pile up in Texas. We'll show you the pictures. And it is time for shopping. Today is Black Friday. We've got the latest on the shopping frenzy here in San Diego. This is Good Morning San Diego. Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It was a wonderful day, and I hope you did as well. Dinner was yesterday. Today, it's time for shopping. It certainly is. Black Friday has begun. And Katie's Eyes, John Soderman has more about this holiday shopping frenzy. A suspect in an attempted murder is dead this morning following an early morning high-speed chase through Pacific Beach. Police say the driver allegedly shot his lover in the back of the head earlier in the month in Green Valley, Missouri. The woman survived and the suspect fled in her stolen Chevrolet minivan. Police were notified by a Green Valley detective that the suspect's cell phone had been tracked to Pacific Beach. Police surrounded the minivan and a 45 minute long standoff took place. Officers eventually discovered the suspect had taken his own life by shooting himself in the chest. A man is recovering in the hospital this morning after being stabbed several times. This attack happened last night at about 10 o'clock at a party in the Midway District. The victim was stabbed several times in the chest. Instead of getting himself to the hospital, he drove to his Pacific Beach home where his wife found him and called for help. The man's injuries are not life-threatening and investigators are still trying to determine the motive of his attacker. Feeding America joined forces with the new Children's Museum and the House of Blues yesterday, hosting Thanksgiving dinner for some of San Diego's homeless population. There were two locations downtown providing the meals, the new Children's Museum on Island and the House of Blues on Fifth Avenue. Each venue fed 600 families with most of the food donated by Ralph's and Food for Less. 
their hands are on the trigger. And in relation to the violence there in Israel and Gaza, there's some brutal video making its way around the world right now. It purportedly shows members of Hamas in Gaza torturing and killing Palestinians accused of spying for Israel. Hamas leaders are surprisingly claiming responsibility for this grotesque video, saying the men were given away locations of Hamas rocket sites, but headlines around the world are now calling them savages. We were eating turkey and pumpkin pie down here on Earth. They were celebrating up in space. NASA astronaut Kevin Ford is aboard the International Space Station along with two Russian cosmonauts. He says that even though the Russians don't have Thanksgiving, it's customary for crew members to celebrate each other's Here's holidays. Russian, Ford says uh, the Thanksgiving Russian spread is just like a traditional Korea, dinner, but oh, yeah. On the space station, foods are either freeze-dried or thermal-stabilized. So probably not as good as we enjoyed yesterday here back on Earth, but still nice to celebrate up in space. Freeze-dried turkey. Yeah. Well, Dave Scott, I think that if you put enough cranberry sauce and gravy on it, no matter what, it'll taste fine. Probably works out. Yeah, and I have a feeling I know what the, the granddaddy of all the Thanksgiving Day meals is the annual Salvation Army Thanksgiving Day Feast at Golden Hall. They have been serving there for 29 years. Nearly 2,000 needy San Diegans were served there yesterday, but this year the stories of those in need are changing. Here's KUSI's Steve Bosch to explain. But baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been... How did the song end? So did she, she stay? Well, he basically says don't go because you'll catch pneumonia and die. Yeah. But so really, he wants her to stay that's where for we other reasons. It. We don't know. I think mm. she stayed because he scared her with the whole pneumonia thing. There, there needs to be a, a part two of that song, I think, <laughs> I after agree. all these decades. So well, right I want to find that. out what happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, today is a Black Friday, but things got started yesterday with Black Thursday. Yeah, and another top retailer that opened even earlier this year was uh, Walmart. Look at this. Stores across the country opening their doors to discounters at 8 o'clock last night, two hours earlier than last Thanksgiving. As the official kickoff of the holiday shopping seasons, uh, stores like Walmart saw customers, well, you know, circling displays and lining up outside in anticipation of the shopping frenzy. The National Retail Federation expects some 147 million people to hit the stores over the weekend. 6 a.m., good morning, San Diego. I'm Alexis Del Chiaro. And I'm Tom Jordan. Today is Friday, November 23rd. A high-speed pursuit by police of an attempted murder suspect in Pacific Beach has a fatal ending. Malls across the country are packed by sh with shoppers looking for the best deals, and we'll tell you what's happening here in San Diego. And Dave Scott's got your forecast. Absolutely. Well, today, of course, is a Black Friday, and Brandy Williams is uh, really excited about this. Yeah, we sent out our resident shopper uh, to <laughs> Otay Ranch Town Center. Good morning, Brandy. Hi, guys. Good morning. But, Tom, is there something I can pick out for you? Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, if, if there's an electronic store nearby, please go in, pick something out, <laughs> something wide and large, and that, oh, that broadcasts <laughs> images that are moving. That'd be great. I'd love that. Oh, oh no problem. Well, uh, good morning. It's very foggy outside. Be careful on the roadways if you're heading out shopping. Uh, the ceasefire between Israel and Palestinian militants in Gaza appears to be holding this morning, and Hamas leaders, they're declaring victory in this. The mood in Israel has been a bit mixed. Some were grateful that quiet had been restored without a ground operation that could have cost the lives of soldiers, many of them. The country is now under a different type of attack. It's a cyber attack. And joining us this morning is digital forensic scientist Daniel Libby. Good morning. Nice to see you again, Daniel. Good morning, Tom. This is a pretty serious situation, and a lot of us don't fully understand yet what a cyber attack is. First of all, describe what that is. Well,